Do you got a Geiger counter, bub? Mine is in the shop. Your HQ's new guy, right? Oh, th thanks for setting up this place. Kinda wish you would've set up a cot or something, but at least it's safe, right? It, it, it is safe, right? Sure. You shouldn't have any problems out here. Yeah, this place is, is definitely better than the last hole in the wall I was at. It was literally a, a hole in the wall. We got a package incoming. You know, package. I've, I've plotted out her escape route. Yeah, it's right here. Got a new guy, <laughs> new tourist that's gonna help. He, he, he's already to sign up, but he's got big problems. We clear those problems up, and our package has got a nice cozy shack to lay low in. Hmm. Okay. If it'll help a synth, count me in. I knew I could count on you. I wish I could tell you what you're going up against, uh, but I got no idea. I'll mark it on your map. Go there and do what you HQ types do. Then Kate's all set. I'll make sure she gets out of the Commonwealth. Sure. We'll have to do that uh, some other time. Uh, what's up, everybody? T Moog here. Hope you all had a nice holiday season. Uh, while we were uh, away, uh, <laughs> some interesting things happened. I guess uh, Kate's in love with me now. At the switchboard. And. Did a couple more missions and I got this whole thing up and running. So I think we're ready to uh, To go visit our Institute friends with hammers We need a extra ton of power to get this to work, but it is working Hi vault tech guy Lucky This isn't gonna do anything without power two centuries and your skin's as smooth as a baby. Yeah, now this thing requires two power. Okay, um, do I have enough stuff to make one more generator? I thought I had all this up and running, but I guess I don't. That's my bad. I thought I had it. Oh, I wanna make one. Like, can I, I, oh, I'm missing copper. No. I'm gonna be in heaven. Can I take this apart for some copper? Probably not. No. No. All right. Well, I guess it'll just take one second then. See if there's anything else that needs power. That needs five, six, seven. Maybe I can run it from here. Maybe. If not, I guess I'll have to go get some more stuff. I lack the copper to string wire. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to go get some more junk. This is what happens whenever you're away for so long. Uh, yeah, when you're away, I miss you guys. Let's fix this up. We are unstoppable. Um. Put this on. Any better? Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, guys. Have fun. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. 
Alright, I think I got enough copper, so... We can head on back. Alright, I think I got enough copper now. That's not what I want. There we go. Is that not getting enough power still? What about you? You're producing 10. I have two lines from you going into that. And one into that. Let's... Select this. No. Deal. Okay. That's powered up, and neither of these are getting enough power because that takes freaking twenty power by itself. All right, then that means we need to make. That makes 5 power, that makes 10. Well, I guess we'll make one of these. And then we'll attach it to this. And then also attach it to... Oh! It's got power. Well, there we go. I think we should be good now. All right. Status report. We got activity desk. Not sure how long before it peaks. The Institute is a huge unknown. Before we can make any plans, we need to do something. What I'm about to tell you is the most closely guarded of the railroad paths. It's time you learn about Patriot. Good name. I like the name. Sounds encouraging. There's a man, or woman, we're not sure, Inside the Institute, who helps since escape to freedom. Cool. Dozens of synths owe him their lives. We don't know his name. We've never had a way to contact him. So we gave him the code name, Patriot. If your plan works, and you're able to get inside the Institute, we need you to make contact. Sure thing. Okay. I'll do my best. Tom's encrypted a message for Patriot's eyes only. Once he sees it, he'll contact you. Until you make contact, and probably after, you need to stay in their good graces. You need to infiltrate them. Can you do that? Can you be our agent on the inside? Bring it on. Bring it on. You can do this. Bring it on. I believe in you. We Stand got this. Stand on the platform and I'll give you the holotape. Just plug it into any institute terminal and wait for the reply. Tom, talk to me. Booting up the scan sequence. Yeah. This frequency is only going to work. We got this. You know who doesn't make the same mistake twice. Who? I don't know. Who? Who doesn't make the same mistake twice? Me? I'm standing here. What? Where's that hollow tape? Hello? Are you guys? Are you? So stand still. We gotta lock in all those molecules of yours. Hopefully we won't miss any. There's only, oh. you know, 60 trillion of them. All right, feeding our baby some juice. All right. Let's see what she's got. Take this holotape. You need it to contact Patriot. Oh, man, uh, don't worry. All right. That, that's all part of the plan. Tom, do whatever you can Tom. to gain their trust. Lie. Tell them what they want to hear. Make up a cover story and sell it. Come on, I think I got it. Establishing lock on the Institute signal. Just get all the information you can about synths, about the Institute's plans. 
Find their weaknesses. If we can disable or destroy the Institute, we may mm -hmm. have to do it. He's just you walking jack around. You that tape into any terminal and Patriot will make contact. He has to. Got the all up! We got it! Find the oh. and save them. Nobody else can. Wasn't expecting yeah. that. Good thing I was wearing my shades. This place is um, interesting. Kate, did you come with me? Are you staying there? You can stay there, it's cool. I'm out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, look, a terminal already. Sweet. Let's look at the access log. Okay. Coarser chip data, is that what I'm... What was the tape I was supposed to put in here? Was it... Hold on, let's look at the mission again. I don't wanna... I don't wanna mess this up. Um... Upload encrypted message. Okay. Message to Jack. Um. I don't know which one it is. Did I get the tape? Is it, is it this? Seth, it's me. I found out what happened to the scouts who went missing up near the old art gallery. There. They're dead, Seth. I I'm looking at a, a goddamn painting of Cal's body. Oh, God. What the hell did I do to him? Nope, don't think that was it. I don't think I actually got the tape, did I? So I don't think this is it. Well, we get to this cool new place, and I'm supposed to do this mission. And the tape that she told me to bring in here... I don't even see. I don't think she gave it to me. I think you forgot to give me the tape. Check our inventory real quick. Um, hmm. Terminal password. I guess I'll just start plugging tapes until until we get the right one. Oops. Damn it. Here we go. It's the network scanner. Oh wait, this might be it. Plug into any institute terminal and copy the message. Okay, this is the right one. Let's just say... 
Meet in the maintenance room. Alright, gotta meet our friend in the maintenance room. Hello. Hi. I wondered if you might make it here. Busted. You're quite resourceful. Thank you. I'm known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I'm also known as Father. I know to my I son do. that you took. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Sure. Please, step into the elevator. This is a pretty cool elevator. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Oh, do I now? Welcome to the Institute. This place is big. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Oh, I can move. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. Only slightly. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. Okay. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. Oh yeah, you my son. For your son. Yeah. Oh, don't want to, you know, be holding a weapon. I'm just a regular person. Is that Sean? Did he take me right to him? Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Hmm. <sighs> Sean? Oh my god. It's really you. Who are you? I'm your dad. Sean. Father, what's it's going me. On? What's happening? I'm... I'm your dad. Yes. What's going on? It's me. Father? Your dad. Father! I'm here, Sean. Hmm. I don't know you. It'll be okay, Go Sean. Away. I'm Father. here now. Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Wow. Please, Sean. I'm your father. Talk to me. Just open the door. Father? Father, help me. He's trying to take me. Father? Father, yeah, help I'm me. Yeah, I'm trying to take you. I'm going to kill Sean. them. S923, recall code Cirrus. The hell? Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. What? Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. What the hell's my son? Let's start anew. I am father. Welcome to the... Give me Sean, the real Sean, right now! I know, I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. Oh, God. All we're missing are the teacups and the, the white rabbit. Ah, levity. Excellent. A sure sign that you adapt quickly to stressful environment. But I need you I didn't to skip realize that, that this... <laughs> Situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far, 
and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you, after all this time. It's me. I am Sean. I am... What? Your son. It's really you? After all this time? Yes. It's true. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. Uh, but then you <laughs> learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. Yeah. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality. Wow. And here I am, raised by the Institute, and now it's later. Uh... But why? But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Oh, they need specimens. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this... wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Wow. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Sean. It's really you. It really is. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Uh... Start with your mother. Your mother? She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with a loss. Has it always been easy? Of course not. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? Hmm. 
How about talk about Kellogg? Kellogg? He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. So you used him. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? Hmm. Well, you can tell me about the Institute. So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future, no matter what those above ground might think of us. Mm. Why you? But, Director? Why you? I was the most qualified for the position. Obviously. I've lived my life within these walls. Dedicated to science like every other member of the Institute. My hard work has paid off. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss, but the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute, and now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Uh... Maybe. Maybe. I... I don't know. This is so much to take in. I know. And I am sorry. You have been through so much in such a short time. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. Mm. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I realize that. It's why I'm trying to help you. Is he going to make that me you can uh, see that rationally? Give him the an Institute answer now? is the only thing left in the world that is worth being part of. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? Ah, uh, damn it. Ah. Uh, sure. All right. Thank you. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself cool. to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Fillmore? Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them. And then we'll discuss what comes next. No use. Alright, well... That was an interesting turn of events. It's an honor to have you here, sir. 
I definitely wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I guess next time we will uh, we'll check out the Institute some more. So, uh, yeah, make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And um, if you want to see some more of my stuff and maybe, uh, you know, get notified whenever my new stuff comes up, make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button. And then if you'd like, you can like my page on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Have a good uh, New Year's, uh, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, whenever this video gets posted. And I will see you guys next time.